Senator Lynn Bayek is proving to be a divisive figure for the Conservative Party. A day after Tory leaders removed her from the Aboriginal People's Committee, her colleagues, like Conservative Senator Gesley Malte, openly expressed disappointment in the decision. Every, every member to the caucus support you. Thank you. Thank you. Division morphed into defense as Malte tried to stop reporters from asking Bayak questions. Can we just get your reaction just, to just, 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 just. being removed from the app? We, we we're in committee here. Not until the gavel. We're allowed, we're allowed to no, be outside. until the gavel. Outside. His efforts oh, didn't work. This week you with... were the senator outside. But it did spark an outburst from conservative senator Kelvin Ogilvie. I see the parasites are still falling. <laughs> Ogilvy tried to deny his remark, even though it was said in front of a camera. Did you call us the parasites for being here? I don't recall that. Okay. Did you hear that? We did. Did, did, you call, did you call us parasites for being here? I, I have no comment on that whatsoever. Okay, so what do you think what kind of What kind of silliness is this? The staunch defense comes after Bayak was disciplined for her ongoing comments about residential schools, where she criticized the lack of attention paid to positive student experiences. Bayak repeated those sentiments in a statement today, saying political correctness is stifling opinion and thoughtful conversation, and that her committee removal is a serious threat to freedom of speech. These exchanges come as the Senate is trying to improve its image, but between this and the Don Meredith ethics investigation, the upper chamber is having a tough time changing the channel. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.